G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today with a little product feature from my friends at KMC. I received a special care package from those folks. I didn't even know it was arriving, to be honest with you. That <laughs> point aside, this is the KMC Digital Chain Checker. In a nutshell, this gauge claims to accurately measure chain wear in inches or millimeters. And there's a thunderstorm nearby, I'd better hurry up. This little unit runs on the power of a commonly used CR2032 battery. So without further delay, let's get it out of the box. Here's a close up of the packaging. Flip it over, upside down. Oh, hello dog. It's Tuesday by the way, folks. You might've seen her in a few videos. She's a tripod, but you think that stops her from being crazy? No. Okay, let's take it out of the packaging here. Difficult doing this when the dog's trying to lick you. Look at that, a nice little case, KMC. Pop the lid. So you've got a manual. This is very similar to a caliper. Now there are two 2032, CR2032 batteries included. I've already installed it to save a bit of time. So there you go, there's the battery. And there's the actual caliper itself. Isn't it cute? And in terms of the controls, so you've got on top here, you switch between metric and inches, your on off and your zero, and this is your lever arm. So basically you would squeeze this to get it like that and place it into your chain and then figure out the actual chain wear. So let's get a test going on here. Interestingly enough, I have four bikes here from 10 to 13 speed. Let's check it out. This is a Campy E-Car 13 speed chain. This device is meant to not work with this particular chain. We're gonna confirm that. So let's try it out. I don't think it's gonna work. It's, yeah, it's, no, it's not fitting in there. So that is 100% correct. The KMC digital chain tool does not work with 13 speed. All right, folks, it's time to measure this chain here on the Lady Gravel Cycle Spike. So basically, you squeeze this little puppy together, right, hit zero, so that's been done. Then, well, drop it into a link, right there. Whoops, let's get it into the camera shot, right there. Then let it go, pardon the thunderstorm. So that's saying 0.4, and what this says on the top right up there, my finger out the way, zero to 0.6 is still good. So this chain is still has wear left. Okay, so first we zero the gadget. So you squeeze in, hit zero for sure. Drop it into the chain. This is an Altegra, I believe, chain. It's 11 speed, it's on my T-Lab X3.22 review bike. Let it go, 0.36. So according to the wear chart right there, this thing is still Good to go. This bike is a 10 speed chain. It's KMC X10 on a campy drivetrain. All right, so let's zero the tool, squeeze it in. It says zero, but we'll hit zero again. Drop it into place. It's right there and right. Well, this is pretty new. Ooh, it's tight, let it go. It's actually registering no wear at all. Okay, well, just for giggles, I'm going to move it to another link. Yeah, okay, there we go. Well, that chain's no working faris. Zero. So, I estimate I probably have about mm, three, four hundred Ks on it, so we're good to go. This tool is nice. There is one negative. I believe it's pretty pricey. I think retail is 125 bucks. If you check out Amazon and use the link in the description below, it's going to be about 20 bucks less. And Gravel Cyclist, yours truly will appreciate it because I get a little kickback on each Amazon sale. Thank you. So there you have it, my video feature of a rather useful tool, the KMC Digital Chain Checker. You can purchase this using one of the links in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for content such as this. Whoa, no bullshit. gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and general madness like that bloody thunderstorm that's nearby. I'll see you 
in the next video. It's time to hightail it.